Hey, how are you today? Welcome back to Have You Nerd. Today we're unboxing and reviewing the SDCC exclusive NECA Channel 6 news pack. Look at the box art we got there. Cat April. All the pictures on the back. Pictures of the figures, nice photos. You know. The accessories, a little bio or whatever story about Channel 6 down there at the bottom if you want to check that out. All the credits and legal whatnot. But yeah, man, I was, uh, you know, the press pass, the lanyard. I was really uh, impressed with this pack, the patch, iron on patch there, channel 6 patch, this nice enamel pin with channel 6 news van, and then I, I like the shirt a lot, right. purple shirt, just, I got all these cool random characters on there, you got Bebop and Rocksteady, looks like before the mutagen, and with the with glasses on and the nose, then you got the little uh, poster, diorama, backdrop here, whatever you want to call it, whatever you want to use it for. I'm guessing it's included as to be used as a backdrop diorama for the figures, which is cool. You get the Channel 6 News building there, that's not bad. But here, yeah, yeah, I've been waiting for this pack like everyone else since since they announced it. Since I ordered it, you get the dope retro tube TV with the dial knobs there. April doing her newscast and Channel 6 News there. Some new, different photography of the figures on the back there. Different nice shots. The whole accessories all used in different ways. Some nice photography on the box. Then they got the classic NECA pop open display where you could see everything with the window but this time they included the channel 6 floor as part of the box and then here we have all the figures in the plastic just take a quick look at them all you know the photo frames I was impressed with I was impressed with the whole thing it feels like you get your money's worth with this pack and it wasn't cheap I think it was like 150 bucks or something maybe a little more for the uh, lanyard in the whole box set or whatever I don't know if everybody got that I forget if I paid extra for that I don't remember anymore it was so long ago but yeah look at these accessories look at they got actual plugs in the wires everything is just fails good and hefty and quality like the sixes are not perfect kind of like a little they look like a little like slanted like hand drawn like hand animated but yeah the accessories are quality everything's quality you get your bang for your buck with this pack I was I really am happy with this pack look at these the photographs look nice you get the boom mic, you get these lights, everything feels, like I said, hefty and chunky, like quality plastic. The lights with the wires and the plug really, like, uh, oh, it just makes me smile. I like it. It's cool. Everything is, is articulated. The, the lights are articulated. The cameras are articulated. You see all the buttons and knobs on the back of the lights there you can see the camera lens then the boom mic with the bag attached the bag actually opens up and you could put stuff in there I don't know put the little turtles poking out when some of the animals I don't know whatever you want in there but it's cool you put stuff in there like the little turtles poking out would be cute or I don't know think of something but it's cool the boom mic got all the ex 
accessories here. You got the headphones for Vern or Irma, I guess, uh, April, anybody that works there. But April, Cat April would be weird wearing it. My knee, look, the paint is so thick on these. My knee was so stiff, I still couldn't get it to bend throughout this whole video. Because I was worried I would break it trying to bend it. I tried so much. But you get this picture of um, Burns' girlfriend. And then this picture of, I'm not sure who that is. I don't remember that character. So, yeah. You get a spoon to eat your green, I'm assuming, turtle soup there. But the, the animation lines in the soup are great. They're like spot on for what you would see in an 80s cartoon. In any 80s cartoon, if they tried to draw soup, or, it's perfect. The cat. The cat actually has a little articulation. The head spins and turns, so I wasn't even expecting that. That's a little extra that they did that they probably didn't have to do. That could have been a static little cat, and it would have been fine. It w and the tail's articulated, too. So much articulation and stuff that I was not expecting them to do that was above and beyond. So NECA really outdid themselves on this one. Sometimes they can do it. Turtle burn here, the shell lines, the underbelly. Oh, and like the paint is nice. I had a couple issues though. But the mouse here, the wind up mouse for the cat to chase. You got uh, turtle burn. Again, the shell, different shell, different sculpt. Everything just looks nice. The phone, I loved the phone. Sorry, the phone's disappearing there on my green screen. I did not realize that. But the phone is just great. The old school rotary phone. And again, the articulation that they threw in on. Uh, the, look at all the buttons, the screen. They did a lot of uh, stuff that really they couldn't, they could have got away with not doing. But here's where I get the trouble. I get the, the knee with the paint is so thick that I try and I try and I try to bend that knee and I was just so worried it was going to break. I gave up. I haven't tried hot water or a hair dryer or anything yet. But it's more just it was like painted on there the, and i had some issues with the paint like just being real thick in some places where it didn't look good and uh it caused issues and it would just flake off but other than that a lot of things look great like right there the irma shoe all oh, that paint just flakes off the second you uh move her feet in any way and you try to pose her so that I didn't like I had a lot of issues with the paint just being too thick and weird in some places but other than that great the scared face little burn sculpt there I love it the blindfold sculpt burn with his work dress shoes there the, the shoe sculpts, the extra burn head sculpt, the extra burn head sculpt. The eyebrow lines, look at the animated eyebrow lines. Now, now I haven't seen this, oh, another issue I had. This came snapped off. I, I noticed it while I was unboxing and making this video. Right there is where I notice it, and I look for it in the box, and sure enough, there it is. So, it's still in there. I was happy it was still in there, and I found it. So I can glue that back on. That's not bad. I was, I was happy that it was in there. But, yeah, I haven't seen the show in years. But my son, who's ten now, when he was like two or three, I got him 
all the seasons on DVD, and he was obsessed. He would watch it over and over and over all day. Those same five DVDs. Each season, I think, was on a DVD or whatever. And, uh, yeah, I remember Byrne always with his ditzy airhead girlfriend, and she wanted to go get hamburgers or something, and, you know, it was always something. In the newest cast. The newest cast played a big role in the show. Irma. Everybody's been waiting on an Irma figure. So. As of right now. This is the only way you can get Irma. And. I'm glad they didn't just do. Rat Irma. Because that would have been awful. If they did how they did us with April. How they did us with April was dirty. That was doing us like that was dirty, April. Look again, the thick paint on the ears. That's what I'm talking about. And around the hair. Some of it just like the ears, you could see big clumps of it where the sculpting is there. I could see the sculpting there underneath the paint, but the the sculpting looks weird or it's the, the divot is completely gone, kind of, because it's full of paint. So it's, it's, uh, some issues there. And again, right here, the dirtiest part, not giving people what they wanted with the April figure, and just giving us the normal head sculpt and normal arms, and that kind of nose, nose, and they know that. I mean... I'm in Facebook groups and stuff, and I see NECA reps and admins or whatever on there, and they they know what the fans are talking about and what they need and want, and I don't get it. I don't get. Uh, I mean, I like having my figures be rare and go up in value. Look at the tail. Just great figures. The, the the cell shading. The animation lines. I know I'm supposed to be reviewing this figure. But you guys know. You're getting with this tool line by now. If you bought this. Comic Con exclusive. You're probably a fan of the tool line. And you know what you're getting right now. With the cell shading. And the animation lines. But. Yeah, they really dropped the ball not giving the fans what they wanted with that uh, regular April sculpt. And like I was saying, I like my uh, figures going up in value or at least retaining value. And Black Series, like re-releasing the same figures every few years makes it... The older figures, most of them don't retain value, but... NECA picks and chooses because they re-release some stuff and then, I don't know, it's weird. I don't get how, how they figure this stuff, but whatever. It's above my pay grade. Now we're on to rat arm hand. You got the rat hands, the rat head sculpt with the glasses on and everything. And I put the headset on, even on rat arm and it, it works. Like... All the accessories work with all these characters. Right there, I got a little yellow paint. Must be from April on my uh, rat Irma there. The cameras are articulated. Even the levers are articulated. I forgot to show this earlier, so I recorded this after. Because I didn't realize they were articulated until after. Again, I thought they were just static pieces like the cat. It's like they went above and beyond with this pack. I, um, this was worth the money. Sometimes I spend this type of money on one figure and I don't think it's worth it. I got four figures and all these accessories, so I, I'm happy. And they're all pretty great pieces I mean I have some complaints but look at them all together on the new set I still couldn't get April's leg bent for this little quick photo shoot but 
they look everything looks great I was very uh, very impressed very happy with this Comic Con exclusive set here but yeah that's pretty much it thank you YouTube thank you Abby Nerd peace out